But we've planned our supply chain incredibly well. We have the largest supply chain in the world. Our partners, TSMC, our memory partners, SK Hynix, Micron, Samsung, are doing a fantastic job supporting us. And all of our systems partners, Foxconn and Quanta and Wistron, our packaging partners, everybody's doing a fantastic job supporting us. And we've done a good job planning for a very, very strong year. And we've done a good job planning for Vera Rubin. So sales are off the charts. NVIDIA GPUs in the cloud is sold out, but we've got a bunch of Blackwells to sell. NVIDIA didn't just change technology, it changed the trajectory of the global economy. And after the historic success of the Blackwell platform, Jensen Huang is already preparing the world for something even bigger. In his latest interview, Jensen revealed that Blackwell's record-shattering demand only happened because NVIDIA executed the largest semiconductor supply chain coordination on Earth, praising partners like TSMC, SK Hynix, Micron, Samsung, Foxconn, Quanta, and Wistron for helping build an ecosystem capable of supporting exponential AI growth. And the story doesn't stop there, because Jensen also confirmed that Vera Rubin, NVIDIA's next generation architecture, is already deep in testing, with seven Rubin chips back in NVIDIA labs and more than 20,000 engineers working around the clock across silicon, systems, algorithms, and full-stack software. He said Rubin is already assured a huge success, backed by a rack-scale platform built on NVLink 72, technology no one else in the world has. And most importantly, Jensen emphasized that talks of an AI bubble are irrelevant when adoption, compute demand, and real-world applications are all compounding at exponential rates. Blackwell changed everything. Rubin will change everything again. And behind NVIDIA's rise is a network of critical supply chain companies now gearing up for the Rubin super cycle. Companies positioned to benefit directly as hyperscalers, enterprises, and sovereign nations ramp up AI spending at unprecedented speed. So in today's video, we'll break down down three NVIDIA-aligned supply chain stocks that are set to make waves in 2026 and beyond as Rubin installations reshape global AI infrastructure. These companies aren't riding the AI hype. They're supplying the core components the AI revolution cannot function without. First on the list is Micron Technology Incorporated, ticker symbol MU, a company that has rapidly evolved from a cyclical memory producer into one of the most critical enablers of the Blackwell and Rubin architectures. Jensen Huang directly credited Edited NVIDIA's memory partners for Blackwell's success, and Micron stands right at the center of that praise. Micron's transformation is extraordinary. For decades, it was treated as a commodity supplier, but with AI data centers now requiring massive amounts of high-performance DRAM and high-bandwidth memory, Micron has strategically reinvented itself into an AI power player. Their fiscal Q4 2025 results were the strongest in company history, with revenue hitting $11.32 billion and EPS soaring past expectations. This surge wasn't driven by consumer products, it was driven by AI infrastructure. Micron's real breakthrough lies in HBM, with NVIDIA's GPUs completely sold out in the cloud and Rubin expected to drive even more intense memory demand, Micron's $18 billion DRAM-centric CapEx expansion through 2026 positions it perfectly for the next wave. The company expects the global HBM market to exceed $100 billion by 2030, making it potentially larger than the entire DRAM industry of of 2024. And Micron isn't just participating, it's leading, with its HBM4 roadmap already aligned with TSMC for next-generation logic die production. What's even more compelling is investor confidence. Micron is up more than 120% year-to-date, outpacing the broader market and major institutions, including Renaissance Technologies, have begun initiating new positions. Yes, Micron's aggressive expansion temporarily pressures free cash flow, but this is strategic. The company is building capacity ahead of an AI demand explosion driven by Rubin class systems. Micron isn't just benefiting from the AI boom, it's becoming one of the indispensable pillars supporting NVIDIA's next generation. That's why MU stands out as one of the strongest memory plays heading into 2026. Transitioning from memory to full AI systems, the second stock on our list is Super Microcomputer Inc., ticker symbol SMCI, a company uniquely positioned as the fastest, most agile assembler of NVIDIA-powered 
powered AI clusters. While Micron powers the memory layer, Supermicro builds the physical AI supernodes that Blackwell and Rubin depend on. Supermicro's journey hasn't been smooth. Regulatory concerns, margin pressure, and fierce competition from Dell, HPE, and Foxconn triggered a significant pullback. But after Jensen Huang reassured the world that demand for Blackwell is off the charts and that GPUs are sold out across all clouds, Supermicro's long-term outlook looks stronger than ever. Why? Because Supermicro has built its business around rapid deployment, the exact capability hyperscalers need when AI demand is accelerating faster than supply can be delivered. The company recently raised its full-year revenue outlook to over $36 billion, reflecting the intensifying global race to deploy AI systems. And while margins fluctuate in the short term, the long-term demand story is unmistakably bullish. Supermicro is scaling capacity to deliver up to 6,000 AI racks per month, preparing not only for Blackwell but for the far more complex multi-rack Rubin systems. And 2026 brings another catalyst, the integration of AMD's Helios Full Rack AI system. This gives Supermicro a broader ecosystem offering, appealing to sovereign cloud providers, enterprises, and customers who want diversification beyond NVIDIA alone. Combined with growing demand from Neo Clouds, sovereign AI clusters, and enterprise deployments, the addressable market for full rack AI systems is expanding at breakneck speed. Yes, competition is intense and execution needs to remain sharp, but Supermicro's advantage lies in engineering speed, customization, and readiness, exactly what the Rubin era will demand. With the stock already undergoing a major valuation reset, SMCI now offers a compelling entry point into the AI system assembly boom, powering the next phase of infrastructure expansion. Shifting to the networking and custom silicon layer, the third stock positioned to thrive in the Rubin cycle is Marvel Technology Inc., ticker symbol MRVL, the company quietly building the connective tissue that holds modern AI data centers together. If Micron is the memory and Supermicro is the system builder, Marvel is the ultra-high-speed network fabric that makes these massive AI clusters function. Jensen Huang has repeatedly emphasized that AI systems are no longer just GPUs. They require next-generation interconnects, optical links, custom silicon, and advanced networking architectures. This is Marvel's sweet spot. The company has repositioned more than 80% of its R&D toward AI and data centers, creating a full-stack platform that spans custom accelerators, Ethernet switches, high-speed SIRDES, optical interconnects, and security silicon. Simply put, Marvel builds the plumbing that allows GPUs to communicate at the speed AI requires. The numbers tell the story. Marvel already commands 13% of the data center silicon market, but management is targeting 20% by 2028, a leap that would effectively triple its data center business within a few years. And this goal isn't aspirational. It's backed by one of the largest pipelines in the semiconductor industry. 18 multi-generational custom AI silicon design wins, more than 50 additional opportunities in evaluation, and an estimated $75 billion in lifetime revenue tied to these programs. Hyperscalers are doubling down too. The CEO recently confirmed that demand signals for next year are very strong, with multi-year agreements in place, including major programs widely linked to Amazon. And with hyperscalers moving into the era of multi-billion parameter models, tighter networking fabrics, and optical scaling, Marvel's products become even more essential. Despite all this growth, the stock trades at a significant valuation discount, with a forward peg under 1.0, signaling that the market still treats Marvel as a cyclical, even though it has become a structural AI enabler. With Rubin expected to massively increase data throughput and interconnect needs, Marvel is positioned to be one of the biggest and most undervalued winners of the upcoming AI build-out.